So now we will see like a leftover options. So first we will start with align elements by edge. So for that I am just going to draw some rectangles like this. Now I am just going for align elements by edge. See it is asking for select a base element. So select and here we can able to just go for left. And I am just selecting the element to align. So accept it. So this is for left. And we can just go for right and then so it is like a right aligned and I am just going for top so it will be top aligned if I am just going for bottom so it will be bottom aligned if it is like horizontal center like horizontal center so if it is like vertical center so this is like a vertical center so both centers so it will be like this so if we have like this we will try align elements by edge so base element and then now I am just going for horizontal center first so this is like a horizontal center same vertical center so this is like a vertical center Otherwise, we can just go for both center and then select. So like this. So we also have copy option there. So make copy, base and then this. Accept escape one. See now we can able to see the copy of the parent object. Okay, now we can just go for stretch. So here it is asking for define fence block. So just to place some fence and you can click the first point and you can able to put the next point and then escape one. Now we can able to see how we stretched. Now again I'm just going for stretch. So just uh, put the frame like this first point and then second point. So like this we can able to stretch any object. So we also have move parallel. So I'm just going for select element. So here we can able to see like how we are just moving the element to inside and outside. So we can just put some distance and we can able to put a, some value. So put outside. So we can able to put make copy. Then we can able to see the distance. So this is like a move parallel where we also have a miter round everything so here move parallel we also have rounded so when you're clicking then you can able to see like uh, it will be uh, moved to 10 and also it will be rounded now again I'm just going for miter so it will be moved and then it will be like a miter so that is the difference so move with rounded or a miter. So if you are just going for move parallel again, just going for original. So it is asking for a first point. So and then the second point. So we can able to put the sum 50. So we can able to see how it is. For example, if I am just selecting only segment of element, so it is asking for select segment and I am just going to put a, some 800. So we can able to see only that segment we are getting out. The same we can just go for move parallel. So this is one portion of element. So again I am just going for from here, so until here. So now I am just going for some 600. So we can able to see like we are getting only that portion outside. So this is like added advantage. This kind of tools we don't have in AutoCAD but we have in MicroStation. Okay. So if you have any miter, you can use miter. If you have any round, you can use round.
Now we also have move to contact. So I'm just selecting this one and then direction to move. I'm just putting this direction and we have moved. So again, I'm just selecting and then it is like asking for direction. So you can able to click. So it will be moved to the nearest object. Otherwise, we will try this one. So just a move to contact. So element to move, direction to move. So we can able to see like how it moved. So where you keep, it will be moved. If only if it is having object, it will move. Otherwise, it won't. Okay, see like this. So that's why it is called move to contact. So if you want to delete everything, control A and then delete or you can put control A and then 8.